Hi, everybody. I'm Hub Arkish for Pro Football Weekly, and every week here at PFW during the season, we go one-on-one. -on -one. We bring in the co-captains of the Pro Football Weekly debate team, Dan Parr on my right, Arthur Arkish on my left, our associate editors, to take a topical question or subject of the moment and choose a side and see if we can convince you, the fan, that we know what we're talking about, who's right, who's wrong. Maybe everybody's right. And this one's going to be interesting because we look at the Atlanta Falcons, two of the top receivers in the NFL, Roddy White, the veteran, Julio Jones, the young stud. Which one? One is the better receiver of the two, which one is more valuable, and when their careers are over, who will have had the best NFL career? Arthur, I'll come to you first. Well, starting at the top, who's better right now? I have to go with the proven veteran, Roddy White. There's only been four players in NFL history who have had more productive seasons over the past three years than Roddy White at the wide receiver position. So I think the production speaks for itself. The consistency speaks for itself. I think that he's Matt Ryan's most trusted target. Dropped too many passes last year, was the Falcons' leader in drops last year, but Julio Jones overtook that dubious distinction this season. So for me, if we're talking about an instance where you need one critical first down, I think that Ryan would tend to go to Roddy White, who has been a proven guy, consistently gets open. If he's looking for that downfield threat for the home run, I'm guessing it's Julio, and that's where Dan is going to go with this debate, I'm, I'm assuming. Yeah, I think the more explosive player right now is Julio Jones, but I think you're absolutely right. If Matt Ryan's looking for a player that he has to go to, if he has one play and one receiver to go to, it's going to be Roddy White. He's done it throughout the season. You've seen it time and time again in crutch time. He goes to him. Uh, but I think if we're taking a long-term look at this, and I know Thomas Dimitrov was when he decided to mortgage the Falcons' future to move up in the draft to trade for Julio Jones, he looked at this guy as a once-in-a-generation type of receiver. Now, Roddy White's been outstanding, highly productive, but his physical ability I don't think matches up with what Julio Jones is. I, I think that in the long run he is going to have the better career. He's going to be the more elite player, and that's saying something given what Roddy White has done. You know, guys, I was on the sidelines for their game in Detroit on Saturday night a couple weeks ago, and it's interesting. Julio Jones, the prototypical big receiver, 6'3", about 215. Roddy White is only listed at six foot, Arthur, but he's actually 210 pounds. He's not a big receiver as we talk about these taller guys in the NFL, but he's a load for a lot of quarterbacks to handle. He is, and he's still, you know, he has the nice physicality. What's interesting about him, maybe not being a huge size, but the durability. He hasn't missed a game in his career. I think that is one of the, you know, one of the biggest testaments to what he's been able to do, the consistency, the production that you just keep getting year in and year out. But you're right, if you're talking about throwing jump balls, trying to go up and get it, I think that's another case where Julio's probably going to take the kick. Well, and Dan, here's where we've got to ask the question, how much is Julio Jones benefiting from having Roddy White on the other side of the field, and vice versa, of course. But since White's been there longer, you got to assume that's helping Jones a little bit, too. And we have to mention Tony Gonzalez in this conversation as well. All three of these guys really benefit from being on the same field with each other. I, I do think that Roddy White has shown, before Julio Jones even showed up, that he's going to be one of the most productive receivers in the league. So you can't say that it's all a case of Julio Jones. But I do think, obviously, if Roddy White was out of the picture, uh, we could be talking about some pretty astronomical r numbers for, for Julio Jones. He has 10 touchdowns this season, and he's on the same field with Roddy White and, and, and uh, Tony Gonzalez and Michael Turner, a guy who gets the ball on the goal line quite a bit. So you can see what he can do around the goal line too as, as a red zone threat. Uh, more touchdowns for him this year than Roddy White. All right, one more question for both of you about Julio Jones. Tony Gonzalez is a surefire first ballot lockdown Hall of Famer. Roddy White is another couple seasons away from being in the conversation. When they're done, Arthur, is Julio Jones going to be in that category? Oh, it's so tough to say, just the NFL is a battle of attrition. I think that's why I get back to Roddy White's durability and how you know impossible to project that is. I think based off his numbers, I'm going to stick with Roddy. Julio could get in that conversation based off his physical skills. There's no question about it. But he's two years into the league. It just seems so premature to, to have that discussion right now. Well, that sets up the final two-part question for Dan. How close to uh, the conversation is Roddy White right now? And can Julio Jones with his gifts get there? I think that Roddy White is, or excuse me, Julio Jones is really going to benefit from where he's playing in terms of Matt Ryan's career. Roddy White, a lot of great numbers, but he was in the early part of Matt Ryan's career when the Falcons were a run first team. Julio Jones is coming into the league at a very different time. Matt Ryan's at a different point in his career. He's going to stick with the Falcons, of course, for a long, long time, and I think they're going to be very, very much a pass oriented offense at the time when Julio Jones is stepping into his prime and Roddy White maybe taking a little bit of a step back and being past his prime. Well, and the good news for Arthur Blank and Thomas Dimitrov and Mike Smith, they've got both of them. Which one do you like better? Let us know. We'd love to hear for all the best in news, notes, analysis, conversation as well. Stay right where you are at ProFootballWeekly.com.